hope everyone's having a fantastic day or evening. Now this is a very, very quick video just to show you. Um, this morning I noticed that my little mini Apuntia micro daisies has got some cotton wool bits on it. Obviously, you know, mealybugs. And a lot of you who have been growing plants, whether it's orchids, whether it's ferns or any type of plant at all for a number of time would have come across this really annoying pest. And... The reason why I'm doing this video is not to bore you in the details about um, <laughs> mealybugs because you're all too familiar with it and it's not something that's really nice to show anyway. But um, it's because I always have a, a real dilemma when it comes to dealing with pests on plants. Now some of you may or may not be aware but um, I am a vegan which for you not sure what that means. It actually means I avoid um, any meat and dairy products and complete and any animal products that don't wear leather or wool um, or anything like that and I don't um, harm any living well I try not to harm any living being obviously when you walk out the door we'd be treading on billions of microscopic bugs and that and before I know a lot of you will be diehard gardeners and you go for God's sake Lynn don't be so soft there are any bugs but it's just something that I you know I believe in I don't like to hurt things unnecessary. I spent hours picking slugs off plants. And I'm probably not a good gardener in that, in that way because it's difficult, obviously, when it comes to dealing with things like pests. But I always use, um, try to as much as possible, natural neem oil um, and water it into the soil. And that works as a preventative. And I'm so lucky that I very, very, very rarely have to worry about pests or get them on my plants. And when I get the odd one, I just pick them off. I know it's still killing them, but if I didn't deal with it, they would wipe out the whole collection. So it's something that has to be dealt with. And obviously, to me, it's just doing the best you can and not putting any harm unnecessary. If there's a way to prevent harming anything, then I will do it. But as you can see here, there's mealybugs on this plant, and I'm going to have to wipe them off with, um, probably get a cotton wool bud. And um, wiping them off is still obviously going to kill them. But there's no other way around it because if I left it, it's going to wipe my whole collection out. So guys, this is just, I've been asked a couple of times, I've done a couple of videos in the past about being a vegan and things like that. I know it's really nothing to do with gardening as such. So I don't do too much of it on my channel. But some people have said that they're also in the same position. I've got a few vegans that also follow me here on YouTube and they've had bugs on their plants. And they said, oh, what do I do? Do you know, is it okay to kill them or what? And I say, look, if there's any way to prevent them and getting rid of them any other way than do that. But um, unfortunately, mealybugs are one thing that aren't going to go away on their own. Um, there's very little you could do to prevent them because they seem to just turn up. So this is where, unfortunately, you do have to treat them and say the most eco-friendly way, I would say, is using neem oil and um, or picking them off naturally with um, a cotton wool bud. Um, and that's why I'm doing this video. As you say, I don't like hurting anything necessary. And I've even I've done a video on how to prevent ants coming in the house because I don't like hurting any living insect. But as I say, there's times when it is totally unpreventable. And it's all about doing the best you can, I believe. Um, and I wouldn't hurt any living thing um, unless there's really no other option. As in this case, I have to pick them off. And I know a lot of you will laugh your head off because you think, oh, Lynn, you're so soft, for God's sake. They wouldn't think nothing about you spraying their plants. But um, I'm just putting my, uh, my view on it and letting you know it's not easy for me to do things like this as um, somebody who doesn't like doing it. But um, there you go. Um, I want to send you loads. As I say, basically, in a nutshell, it's just doing the best you can um, at all times, really. Um, and that's it. I want to send you loads of love and loads of happiness and hopefully not any mealy bugs from Ireland. <laughs> Until the next video, guys. Bye.